First, we'll start off by initializing a new node project and installing all our dependencies such as Express and Stripe. Then we'll also install our dev dependencies such as Nomon to have our server update live. Next, we'll head over to server.js where we'll set up our basic Express app on port 5000 and create the root slash payment. Now, we'll create a routes folder and here we'll create payment.js. Here, uh, we'll set up a basic endpoint called slash donate. And we'll also need to set up Stripe. Before we do that, we'll need to set up our environment variable. So to do this, we'll create a .env file and install .env. Now here, we will for now just create the name of the variable and later we'll set the value when we configure Stripe. Now we'll initiate the Stripe object and here we will create the function. So we'll first destructure the body and then we will create the Stripe customer. After that, what we'll do is we'll create an invoice ID which is to prevent duplicate transactions from occurring and then we'll create a charge and finally we're all done and send a response back to the client telling them it was a success or it failed. Now it's time to create react app using create react app and cd into your client. Additionally we'll be downloading all our dependencies using npm install which include stripe checkout and maui for uh, components now that's optional if it's, it's your choice if you want to use that to follow along with the tutorial or not and we'll also be installing a few more things for maui now here we'll head over to the package.json and we'll add uh, another field called proxy which just makes all our requests from our front end proxies to our backend server on, running on port 5000 here we'll delete the code in the app.js by default and set up the code we need for our front end so we'll import everything that we need for this and um, we'll create a handle token callback and we'll also set up some basic code here We'll create an input form to make it so we can uh, put in the amount we want to pay and We'll also create a, a handle change function and we'll also create a stripe checkout and that's just for um, The actual checkout uh, component that stripe provides and we'll also trigger our backend uh, by calling slash payment slash donate And now we need to get the keys so we'll first set our environment variables. So here we set one up and now we need to go to Stripe's website. Uh, this will be in the description below and create your free account. Now we'll head over to the developer section and API keys and we'll copy the publishable key and we'll go back to our code and paste it in the front end environment variables file. And now we'll go back to it and get the one key we need for the backend. So copy this and head over to the backend and go to the root folder .env and paste this in. Now we're done, all we need to create is a few new scripts for our backend, package.json, and run npm test to run our server, and cd into client, and run npm start to start our front end. Now as you can see, our front end has started, and now we can put a fake amount to donate, and here we can put our email address, and a testing card, or real card, and the expired date, and the CVC number, and press donate. Now we can wait and see that our transaction is successful when the alert field comes out. Now we can head over to Stripe and see that our customer has been created with the email we provided and we can see that their $100 has been successfully donated. This has been how to integrate Stripe in 3 minutes and hope to see you in the next one.